Thanks for clicking on my video. Before we get started, please click the subscribe button so that you can get more great content such as this one. Thanks. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm your host Tony Coleman and today I want to show you how I got the visible mobile uh, phone source to work on my Netgear Nighthawk LTE modem hotspot router. First I took the SIM card out of the phone. and placed it inside the hotspot. As you can see, it is the visible SIM card. Now, the SIM card that came with the phone was too small for the actual router, so I had to use an adapter that I had previously from another SIM kit that I had back when I used AT&T service. Fits, it activates, it works after a little bit of configuring. So I'll go ahead and put the battery back in. Turn on the hotspot. As you can see, it's got the AT&T logo. So this was an AT&T branded hotspot. It is unlocked. So that's why this works. It does take a moment for this to boot up. You still see the AT&T logo going, but that will change here in a moment. And there you have it. It says Verizon right there. Device is connected. Currently zero, but it's still booting up. It will detect my laptop here in a moment because it is connected through the Ethernet cable. One device connected. Now you can see on my laptop here, I do have a network connection. So I will log into the hotspot and I'll show you the settings I had to use to get the hotspot to work. Okay, so I had to go to settings and then go to advanced settings, cellular. Now I had to create a new APN. So I left it on auto, but I came here to add and delete. I hit add and then in the information, I typed visible, the capital V. The APN was all lowercase, VSBL, internet, no space. PDP was IPv4, V6. R, the PDP roaming was IPv4. And then I left authentication to none with that no login credentials and I hit save. After doing so, I just restarted the hotspot and it picked up everything it needed. So now, I can actually use my hotspot instead of the phone as a regular hotspot. Other devices can connect. I am going to unplug my ethernet so that you can see. All right, you can see that I lost connection. I will turn on my Wi-Fi adapter on the laptop. And then I will connect. As you can see, as Wi Spot Wi Fi hotspot, I'll go with the five gigahertz. Logging in. I am now connected. You can do the speed test. Previously through Ethernet, I was getting 10 meg down, upload of 30, almost 34. You will find that that does change quite a bit. And through my Wi-Fi, I am currently approaching 15, 18, 20. There, 22 was the average. Upload is back up in the 30s again. Okay. 
and there you have it so if you have any other devices that you've successfully got this to work on feel free to post those in the comments if you have questions i'd be more than happy to try to help uh, i can't guarantee that i will have a solution for you but uh this did work for me um if you like the videos please also subscribe to my channel i do post periodically with uh various different interesting topics uh, also make sure you hit that bell button so that you get the notifications when new videos are uploaded and then uh share them with your friends as well so until next time have a good one